gonna try my best this year to stop cutting my hair at this point and just let it grow past that. Fire! Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a trim on my hair. I'm about to get rid of a lot of dead ends, probably some dead ends that I should have gotten rid of a long time ago. I wear my hair in its natural state like pretty much 95% of the year so I don't get to see those straggly ends because you know your hair looks different when it's like in its curly state versus when you stretch it out so I stretched my hair out probably like a week ago and I've noticed these ends they're like very dead and they need to go like it's not a good look my hair is probably going to be visibly shorter after I do this trim but it's fine it's going to grow right back it's no big deal there's no need to hold on to dead ends if it's dead and if it's straggly and if it's barely there it doesn't even count anyways and i just feel like i've hit a growth plateau so this is going to be a little reset that's going to get me towards my hair goals because i've been natural for five years i feel like my hair should be a lot longer than what it is but yeah my hair is obviously growing like my hair is growing at the scalp it hasn't stopped growing it's still thick it's still there but my ends are not retaining length because they ain't healthy. So we're getting rid of those today. You do not wanna use regular scissors on your hair. Do not use paper scissors on your hair. Don't use kitchen scissors on your hair. It's not gonna cut your hair right. And you're gonna end up with more damage. So make sure you use shears, preferably sharp ones, because if you're using dull shears, that doesn't help you out either. So I have my hair in these twists and I'm gonna start taking them loose. I have my mirror in front of me so that I can see everything. Those ends, they're pretty dead. Like you can see through them. Any ends that I can see like this, it's time to let them go. Like they don't count anyways. They don't count. Just making sure that it's all detangled decently before I actually start trimming. Look at that. That all needs to go. Y'all, I can visibly see all of the daggone um, single strand knots at the ends of my hair. And that's really bad. That's why my hair is not like growing to the point that I want it to grow. I still see thinness, so we still gotta get rid of a, get rid of some more. Cut it like real good. Make sure it's nice and even. Yeah, that feels better. I'm gonna move on to this side and start trimming it as well because what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that I'm cutting my hair evenly so that it's like the same length. The tangle, the tangle, the tangle, the tangle, whoop, the tangle. The fine tooth comb like really ensures that you're getting everything nicely detangled. Coming through, it also lets me know where I need a cut because like at this point, it starts to get pretty difficult to comb through. I feel like I could afford to trim off more than what I'm doing. These dead, dead ends are not cute. Okay. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, don't do this yourself. But you know, I'm not going in anybody's salon right now. I don't really trust people with my hair. I actually transitioned a 
Okay, I may as well tell the story while I'm cutting my hair. So I haven't gone to a salon since I finished transitioning and then finally big chopped my hair off. And I thought that I would go to the salon to get my hair even out. When I went to the salon in my area, there was no such thing as a natural hairstylist. Everyone was still getting relaxers. Everyone was still going to um, the salon for like, not, they weren't going to the salon to get their natural hair done, I'll tell you that. My hair was probably three to four inches long and it was like this little fro and she just treated my hair as if there was nothing that she could do with it. She didn't style it, first of all. She cut all of my hair off. So I pretty much transitioned for no reason. And by the time she was done cutting my hair, I only had like half an inch to an inch of hair left. I felt so ugly that day and it wasn't because of my hair. Like. I don't care whether I have long hair or short hair. I My hair is like a way that I express myself, but it's not who I am. You know, my hair doesn't define me, but I felt so ugly that day because she just, I, I felt like there was something wrong with me. Women go to the hair salon to feel beautiful. You know, she just cut my hair and she did this weird pat, like, I'm sorry, like, I, there's nothing that I can do to your hair. She didn't style it, she didn't condition it, she didn't do anything to it. And then you have these women, particularly they, at the time it was older women who are kind of like looking at you in disgust. They're, it's sad, like looking at you like, Ew, why did she do that to her hair? And it's not a good feeling. I never returned to a hair salon after that. But maybe I'll go to a hair salon in the future. But, this is how it looks so far. Now it's right here. So I didn't have to cut off too much, but I feel so much happier. Watch how much easier it is to comb my hair. I don't hear any popping. Before I trimmed, I heard a lot of popping. I don't hear any popping. It's very easy to comb through my hair. Now I'm gonna move up. So I'm gonna go ahead and twist these back up. Now it's not gonna twist all the way down because my hair is stretched out. That's just not cute to me. You should not be able to see through that. That's not cute. And I've been walking around like that. How dare I? That's this side right here, so. I'll move on over to the other side. I have soft hair that doesn't really hold unless it's a little wet, so. All of it has to get clipped. <laughs> Cause it's, it's, it's not gonna stay twisted and I'm not about to fight with my hair. You need to go back in here. What's wrong with you? Nobody coming to see you, Otis. either you can see my wall through these girl you should be ashamed of yourself
I didn't even mention that. I'm trimming my hair in twists. I don't know why I didn't say this in the beginning of the video, or did I? Don't remember. But I put my hair in twists before trimming because it will be easier to go through smaller sections and make sure that I'm getting off all of my dead ends rather than trying to cut off a big chunk of my hair all at once. So that's why I did twists. And also I have this twist like this in the middle with no part because I want the front section of my hair to be even. Then I'm gonna like take it off to the side so I can like really see everything. <laughs> I trim my hair and it feels so much better. I'm like trying to shape it a little bit. The bottom of my hair be hanging so much lower than everything else. This is how my hair is now. Like you can't tell because it's like all froed out, but it does look so much better. I feel like my hair is a lot fuller than it was before. Like it's full all the way through. I lift my hair now and it's like full and it's nice and I like it. So yeah, I might style my hair and then come back and show you guys how that looks. Just because, I don't know, just because. Recoge la feria es lo que tú sabes. Get your dollars. I don't know why I keep singing that, but I like that song. <laughs> All right, so I went and styled my hair. I just put my hair in these little braids to wear, put my ends away. My hair feels so much better. I'm excited about the health of my hair now. This is how much hair I trimmed off. And it doesn't look like a lot, but it actually was. The ends were so sparse and dead that yeah, it was really bad. <laughs> I am going to end my video here. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe right here if you haven't already. It helps me out so much, especially as a new and smaller channel. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.